Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and hopefully you've been enjoying and learning something from my Principles of Design series. So if you can consider that the basic primer for composition, this series, Film Studies, is going to be a way to put that into practice. The whole idea is going to be to take movies and to break them apart into study materials, to take still frames out of the movie and learn from them. Now, the truth is you can use any kind of media and apply these same techniques to it. You could use a advertising still or a movie poster, but I'm picking movies for this series because they are so expensive to produce. And what that leads to is lots of different artists scrutinizing every instant of the final product. With all this high budget, you get really careful, considered results. So that means that you can take any random moment from a movie, and the odds are it's going to be a pretty well-composed shot. And as we've talked about in the Principles of Design series, you can take an image like that, and if you know what to look for, you can really learn something. So in this first video, let's just talk about what tools you're going to need to make this part of your practice regimen. And ultimately, the most important thing is taking a moving picture and turning it into individual still frames. The easiest way to do this is to have a DVD and to put it in your computer and to capture still frames. And the software I'd recommend to do this with is called VLC Media Player. This is cross-platform, open source, and free. It's really great. In fact, I especially like it because you can assign a hotkey to save out a still frame and then just watch the movie and anytime something cool happens, just tap the hotkey and it'll save off a picture into a folder. And pretty quickly, you build up a huge library of still frames. Now, if you don't have access to the DVDs, another great way is to get streaming video on the internet. Whether you have a Netflix subscription or YouTube videos, whatever it may be. Now here, the only software you're using is your internet browser. And so what you're gonna be doing is taking screenshots. Now, on a PC, if you hit the print screen button on your keyboard, here's what you get. You save to the clipboard every pixel on your whole screen. And this is fine, but you don't really need all that extra junk. All you need is what's in your internet browser. Well, there's a great little secret. If you hold down the Alt key while you tap print screen, all it does is saves out what's in your active window. So for me, right now, the active window is my internet browser, and it ignores everything else. So this is sort of like hitting Control-C or Copy. So just make a new document in Photoshop, paste it in, and you've got a screenshot. So this way is a bit more time-consuming because you have to manually copy and paste each image into Photoshop and eventually save them out as flat JPEGs or however you want to store them. And once you figure out how to do this, what you're doing is essentially taking a two-hour piece of entertainment and turning it into a $40 or $50 art book. Because you can easily grab 100 or 200 images out of a movie, and then each one of those becomes almost like a page in a piece of reference material. So in the upcoming videos, we're going to discuss different ways to dissect these images, different types of studies that you can do to learn from the movie. But for the time being, get capturing. Start building up that library. Have fun, and thanks for watching.